person she is paid the salary or the wage of a slave come on Lee Kuan Yew is there any Singaporean woman who would work for three hundred dollars a month shame on you Singapore shame on you wherever in the world you pay a maid the wage of a slave how do you know it's the wage of a slave no Malaysian woman will work for that wage no Malaysian laborer will work for that wage that you're paying the Bangladeshi and you're paying the Indonesian so you are an oppressor and Allah will destroy you Allah will destroy you Allah will destroy you so we will create our micro communities which will be free from oppression banks are not allowed no so no money lenders and we're not going to use this paper money the gold dinar and silver dirham is what you find in the Quran so the gold dinar and silver dirham will be used as money and if we have a shortage of dinars and dirhams and we in Java we can use rice as money yeah. in that micro community we try to live the way of life of Islam and if they come after us with the armed forces and the police in that remote community then said the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam and how prophetic what his, were his words and how few they are who listen to the Prophet and he said the time will come when a man in order to preserve his faith would have to flee to the mountain sides where rain falls and take with him some sheep and goats and so I leave you now I thank you for the time that you've given to me to introduce you to this important topic I warn you that we now live in the most dangerous of all worlds and most people are going to fail the tests and I urge you to study the subject of signs of the last day and to examine my suggestion that survival requires us to try to live Islam and we cannot live Islam in their cities and towns but we might succeed if we remove ourselves from the towns and cities and go back to Kampung and build a community that is faithful to Allah and his messenger Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim wa tawa alayna ya mawlana innaka anta tawab rahim برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين آمين. I saw my teacher, Mawlana Dr. Fadl Rahman Ansari, conducting a class. And while the class was being conducted, the azan was called. Of course, we'll be going to the masjid. When the azan started, I, I heard him say, Allahumma jalla jalla lahu, and then continue with the class hmm? so I followed his way if anyone can show me that this is prohibited then of course I will discontinue it hmm. okay there's nothing that I know of in the Quran and nothing that I know of in the hadith with which to respond to your question I therefore will give you my view I believe that those who are in control of the world today who want to rule the whole world and eventually deliver that rule to the state of Israel so that tomorrow Israel will rule the world and when Israel rules the world 
that a man would stand up in Jerusalem and declare I am the Messiah Al Masih 1400 years ago Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam described that man to us said he'll be a Jew he would be a young man he'd be powerfully built he'd have curly hair hmm? uh, I believe that that event is probably about 30 years away from now that's how close we are that man would be Dajjal Dajjal because he says he is the Messiah but no he is not the Messiah he is the false Messiah and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send back the true Messiah Nabi Isa alayhi will come down from the sky with his hands resting on the wings of two angels and the true Messiah will then kill the false Messiah and after that takes place the big Gog and Magog war which will be the Dukhan but in order for Israel to rule the world Israel has to wage some big wars the wars that Israel has so far waged are small wars Israel has to attack Egypt so that the territory of the state of Israel can expand to incorporate the whole of the eastern delta of Egypt from the river Nile to the river to the Red Sea Israel has to destroy Pakistan's nuclear plants and nuclear weapons and Iran's nuclear plants hmm? break up Pakistan so that Pakistan can never rise again Israel in order to wage those wars and not appear to the world as an aggressor is now maneuvering with the Arab uprisings and the Arab uprisings are meant to lead to Islamic governments in Egypt Islamic governments in Yemen in Syria so that Israel can claim that the Arabs are now threatening Israel preparing to destroy Israel and that Islam is rising as a menace to the world and then Israel will be able to wage her wars and say we were only defending ourselves and we were saving mankind from Islam it is possible that all of the drum beating concerning 2012 is because they want to use 2012 for starting those big wars so that in 2012 I can be wrong of course in 2012 you will you will witness the attack on Pakistan to destroy the nuclear plants and nuclear weapons I'll be surprised if it does not take place by 2012 mm -hmm. and uh, the attack on Egypt etc because mankind is being prepared for it so let's not disappoint them there is a hadith which has been universally accepted all through our 1400 years of our history there's only be a very 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 insignificant number of scholars who have questioned this hadith the overwhelming majority for 1400 years have accepted the hadith that when you see the black flags coming from the direction of Khurasan go and join that army even if you have to crawl over ice it's two hadiths I'm joining now two go and join that army even if you have to crawl over ice because no one will be able to stop that army until it reaches Jerusalem hmm? 
Um, apart from my comment concerning the authenticity of the hadith and that is that it has been universally accepted except by a very few it appears to me that this uh, army will be able to successfully march to Jerusalem only after Gog and Magog have destroyed themselves with that nuclear warfare. When that nuclear warfare takes place, uh, if we have any scholars of physics and so on here, you can help me. But I have a suspicion. I'm not a scholar of physics. I have a suspicion that the radiation in the atmosphere which we now have through these towers so you can use your cellular phones and so on and your laptop a wireless that the radiation <coughs> that is now in every town and every city will function as an agent when the nuclear explosions take place would function as a conductor to incinerate everybody this is a hypothesis I want a specialist to examine this hypothesis because I want to get out of range of that I want to get out of range of that radiation hmm? the the army would march after that Gog and Magog war takes place and since you will not be able to use any cruise missiles and electronic weapons <laughs> it's going to be horses once again um, I expect that army to march in about 30 years from now but it's already begun its march because it's fighting back in Afghanistan Khorasan the heart of Khorasan is Afghanistan but let me make one more comment the Prophet said to Islam that among the signs of the last day is that listen carefully one man would have to maintain 50 women Please tell them he didn't say one man will have to marry 50 women. <laughs> no, one man will have to maintain 50 women. 1400 years ago he said that. And I believe that is around the corner. The fulfillment of this hadith is around the corner. I believe that this hadith is telling us that there is going to be a calamitous decline in the birth of baby boys only baby girls are going to be born rare would be the birth of a baby boy why? why? the medical doctors have explained to me that the sperm has male chromosomes and female chromosomes and when the male chromosome fertilizes the egg then a boy baby boy is born but when the male chromosome does not fertilize the egg then the default is a baby girl the radiation from cellular phone towers from laptop computers the radiation he said is damaging notice where the laptop sits on your lap it is damaging male sperm production it is weakening the male chromosome as the male chromosome becomes weaker and weaker less and less baby boys are going to be born 
So, now every woman in the world, you can ask them, 